In case you're having trouble with storage on your Windows 2019 server, there is an application called Storage Sense, which can fix you up. In the lower left-hand corner, click on the Start button, and then click on the Settings icon. And now we're going to click on System. If we go down to where it says Storage, we'll click on that, and we can see the option to turn on Storage Sense. So as you can see, it's going to automatically free up space by getting rid of files that you don't need such as the temporary files or if you've moved something into your recycle bin. So if you use recycle bin as a storage uh, area, then this would be a problem for you. But if you really do want to throw away things that go in your recycle bin, then this is a good thing to turn on. So I'll go ahead and turn that on, and it'll automatically free up space for us. Now we can also make a couple other changes as well, such as we can click on the change how we uh, free up this space. So we can say only during a low free disk space, or we can change it to every day, week, or month, and we'll automatically run this application. We can also choose whether or not to delete temporary files that my apps aren't using. So by default, that is turned on, and after 30 days, it will go ahead and delete those, but you can change that to these other options as well. Now we have the option where it says delete files in my downloads folder if they've been there for over, and by default it says never. So you can change that to 1, 14, 30, or 60 days. And we can also click on free up space now. So if we really want to get that space cleared up, go ahead and choose the clean now button, and it will go out and try to get rid of any files we don't need, and it will give us that space back. And if we change our mind, we can always go up to Storage Sense and turn it off. And now it will not do any of those things, and it will just leave that space uh, filled up until we go in and manually delete it or turn Storage Sense on. So that's how we use Storage Sense in Windows Server 2019.